The following is a production of the Dallas Genealogical Society. For more information, please visit our website at www.dallasgenealogy.org. All right, good morning, everybody. Whoa, can everybody hear me? <laughs> Well, thank you for coming to the February Dallas Genealogical Society General Meeting. Uh, we've got just a, a few pieces of, uh, of business this morning, and then we'll get into uh, what should be a very, very, uh, very cool presentation. So first of all, uh, if for all the guests that are out there, it looks like we have about a dozen today. Thank you for coming. Um, you know, feel free to uh, enjoy the presentation, obviously, and then uh, if you have questions or want to talk about the society a little bit more about what we do, and um, if you have any questions, just look for anybody with uh, a blue shirt or somebody that has board or something on their badge, and we'd love to talk to you. So welcome and thanks for coming. Okay. So the first business, uh, the first business order this morning is previous minutes. Uh, the minutes have been, they're taped on the door for the, the room over there, they're posted on the website, and there's a paper copy if someone wants to see it right now. Um, if there, unless there's any corrections or additions, we will consider those approved and we'll post them. Anybody, questions, comments? All right, thank you. Consider those approved. Okay, so Gloria Goodwin, our Director of Membership, has relayed that we do have quorum this morning, so thanks for all the members that came out to, to let us actually conduct business today. Okay, I do wanna, this, this is a program, this is an initiative that we're running um, to, try to, to try to get some new folks uh, interested in genealogy and what the Dallas Genealogy Society offers. So just a reminder that um, if you bring a guest to one of our general meetings between now and May, you, your name will go into a, a hat for a drawing for a free DGS seminar. Um, so hopefully all the guests came with somebody or, or uh, people got credit for, uh, for bringing a friend today, but think about that over the next couple months. People that might be interested, uh, pe friends, family, if you've had conversations about family history, what better way to sort of bring them into uh, into what we do and love, um, then, then bring them to the Dallas Genealogy Society. Anybody have any questions on that? Okay. All right, I do want to uh, just remind everybody, our, uh, the next seminar coming up is Michael Strauss. If you didn't grab one of the, the pamphlets on the way in, um, please grab one on the way out. This goes through, uh, the detail of all the sessions that uh, that we're going to be having. You can register using this or go online. Uh, a lot of information there. Registration is open, so uh, so please make sure you do that. It is March 31st. Look forward to seeing everybody uh, at what looks to be a, a, a very another very interesting uh, DGS seminar. Okay, so this is, um, and, I, and I, we, do, we are going a little bit out of order. We'll get our treasurer's report here in just a few minutes. Um, we do have one piece of official business that we need to, to run this month. We talked about it last month. It was in, the, um, in our newsletter, the, the nominating committee. Um, this is the time of year where we really start thinking about the board officer leadership for next year. Um, this process is we form a committee. We've got a few folks from, uh, from this group. We have a few folks from the board that get together and think about who the right leaders could be for the society for next year. Um, you know, this is one of those important steps in the process to make sure that you know, we, we keep moving forward the DGS. We've got the right people with the, the right uh, enthusiasm and energy um, and match them to roles that we have on the board. So in order to make that happen, uh, we need a, a few volunteers to be on the nominating committee, and we need three members from this group who are not on the board to participate. Um, it is worth noting that if you're on this committee, that doesn't mean you have to take a board position. You're just here to help identify folks, uh, talk to some folks, and, and help put together the slate of, of candidates that we'll vote on in, later on in the spring. 
So before I pause for for nom for uh, volunteers, any questions on the nominating committee? All right. Here's the moment of truth. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just yes. <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right. Any other questions that I, I won't ignore this time? I promise. Okay. So, I, so what we need? This is kind of a this is a pause. You know, until we sort of fill these positions. Can I get three volunteers to to be on this uh, very important, um, very necessary? Uh, committee that we have for the society. We got Gene Larson. One, can you, Gene Larson? All right, we are one third the way there, and I won't. I won't make Gloria lock the door for another few minutes. Anybody else? Who's been on the committee before? How, how, how much fun did you guys have? It's a good, it's a good way to give back to the society. Yeah. And it, it really isn't that difficult. No, and people, there, there's an online form uh, where if you know somebody and you want to nominate them to do that. So the community has input coming at them. Uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's a good way to get involved. You don't have to really even physically meet. We just use a go-to meeting, a conference call. Doesn't it usually take about one meeting to get a slate, maybe? Maybe a meeting, some conversations. You know, we want to make sure that, that people we put on the slate are that are, are understanding of what the position is and um, and that they're interested. But it's it's usually pretty, you know, pretty pretty straightforward. Not a huge time commitment. Anybody else? Okay, so what we'll, what we'll do is um, I will entertain a motion for the, the single uh, volunteer we have today, and then we will solicit um, and, and vote as a board uh, before the next monthly meeting and report out who's actually on the committee. Anybody? We'll move we accept the volunteer we have. Okay. Awesome. Motion. All right, the motion is to have our first nominating committee member, Gene Larson. It's been seconded. Any questions? Discussion? Extra volunteers? Yes, Jim. Jim, thank you. All right, all in favor of accepting Gene on the committee, say aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Congratulations and thank you. Much appreciated. Okay, I thought I saw Tra Travis, you ready? We will have Travis Tynes do our treasurer's report. Hello, everybody. Um, for the month of January, uh, the society received cash totaling $1,205. Uh, we spent $1,459 uh, for a, a net outflow of $254. But I'll explain that out of the $1,459, $1,115 went to pay for some more of the His Hispanic book collection that we're donating to the library. And so, um, so the real management numbers, we only spent $344. So uh, we, the money we spent was uh, for the finishing a good purpose. So after uh, net expenditures of $254, our cash in the bank and savings and checking total $159,360.
Any questions on the financial report? All right, hearing none, we will consider those approved and file for audit. All right, um, this is just a, another, another reminder about a few open positions we have uh, in the DGS. Um, this is, you know, when we think about all the society does, it, we are a volunteer-powered organization, and um, a few of these positions are, are, uh, have been open for a little while, uh, and they're, they're important for sort of keeping everything moving in the society. We have a Pegasus editor. This is our, our flagship publication um, that uh, we've been looking for someone to kind of step in and, and pick up where we left off with, uh, with getting these issues created and published. So if you have an interest in that, uh, let one of us know. We would love to talk to you about what, um, what's expected and, and how we would go forward with that. If you've done public relations or um, you like putting together summaries of what's going on, reaching out to, to news organizations, helping publicize what we do at the society, uh, we, we could use you. There's a lot of events coming up. We start to get busy here over the next couple of weeks. Um, and this is a, this is a position that's, uh, it's another one of these that um, most of it you can do at home. You can um, get the information, format it up, get it out to the right outlets, and, um, um, and have an impact on the society. So if you're interested in, in that, um, please let us know. And hospitality, this is, you know, we've mentioned this uh, since the beginning of the year when uh, the lanes have, have uh, sort of retired from that position. Um, if you're interested in that for general meetings, uh, some of the seminars we do, uh, please just uh, reach out and let us know that you're interested. Any questions on these? Any volunteers? Anybody interested? Okay. Um, our next general meeting is March 3rd. Uh, we're going to have our, our very own Jim Thornhill talk about migration through the South, so we're looking forward to that. And Lisa, you want to come on up and introduce our speaker for today? The Dallas Genealogical Society. If you're already a member, thank you. Your membership dues are supporting this and other society activities. If you're not yet a member, I hope you consider joining. You can become a member for as little as $35 a year, and you can join by going to our website, dallasgenealogy.org, and clicking on the Membership tab. 